this is looking like one of the best like stages of a Champions League I've seen for a very long time. Yeah. It's quite sad actually because this Friday is the draw. Mm-hmm. And this Friday is the last ever proper Champions League draw. Because from next season, new format, yeah, it's all being done by a computer, mm, which is rubbish. So it's not we're not going to get the easy to it's, get allegations of it being fixed. Yeah, as well. exactly. And and because the, apparently they're going to have loads of checks, um, but because there's so many more teams involved, it they said it would take a three or four hour long process to draw all these teams. So right. that's why it's going to a computer. So well, they do the whole thing over four hours I anyway. The chat shit for just hours. Just get rid of all the get rid of, Yeah, just get rid of Cantona doing poems and that. You know what I mean? <laughs> We've been all that off and we'll be fine. Right, so the teams that I've got through yeah. are Bayern, PSG, Real Madrid, Manchester City, Arsenal, Barcelona, and then Dortmund are currently 2-1 up at half-time mm-hmm. on aggregate and into are also 2-1 up on aggregate. So let's assume Inter and Dortmund go through. Mm -hmm. Of those seven teams, who do you want to avoid? Inter Milan is my number one to avoid just because they play anti us. In fact, no, it's not. It's my edge change. change. I said this last time, and then it's Arsenal. It's It's the quarterfinal curse. I'm shitting it. It's the quarterfinal curse. Do not give me Arsenal. Yeah, I'm the exact same. Avoid Arsenal at all costs. And what I would hate... What I think would just be terrible for City, and when I say City, I mean Pep, is facing Arsenal three times in three weeks. Oh, no. Nothing shouts Chelsea 2021-22 season yeah. more yeah. than when we faced Tuchel three times and we didn't win once. Didn't because every more. single time, Pep thought he was playing 9D chess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pep overthought every step of that process. Yes, yeah. like, and that's what I mean is Pep's the greatest manager on earth, but even he has a, a short circuit. And I think what it is... is He's like, his own fault at times. Yeah. It's like, and what I think that is sometimes is overexposure. Mm-hmm. If we play a team too much in one season, he starts he starts losing his head. I think if the team gets the better of him, he overthinks it so much as opposed to going back to basics. basics yeah, no, 100% agree. So if we had to face Arsenal... Three times. In the league, oh. and then twice in the Champions League over the course of three weeks... Oh, I'd, I'd, I'd honestly just say sack everything. Our season's over at that point, <laughs> if you ask me. We, honestly, I'd make, I'll make a prediction now. If we draw Arsenal in the quarterfinals of the Champions League, we will not win a single one of those three games. Not a Ooh. single one. That, honestly, that, that, that's, I love Pep Guardiola more than I love my wife. It's not true. It's not true, Lucy. It is. It is, Lucy. It is true. But, he told me off camera. <laughs> shut, shut up. <laughs> but if we face a team like Arsenal three times in three weeks, Pep Guardiola will overthink that to the moon. They'll on, they'll honestly be a put. He'll, he'll do a Stuart Pearce and he'll get Edison printed <laughs> on an outfield shirt. I promise you, <laughs> yeah. he'd overthink it so terribly that we won't win a single one of those games. That's my prediction, and I hope that we don't draw Arsenal. I, I hope we don't draw Arsenal because the thing is, I was about to say I hope I'm wrong, but I'm so certain that I'm not. That I just yeah. if we draw Arsenal, that honestly, if if we draw Arsenal in the quarterfinal of the Champions League, I think our season's over in both competitions. Meltdown. Meltdown. Because we'd lose the game against Arsenal, which I think would effectively put us out of the title race, and then we'd mm. get knocked out of the Champions League. And I think that would be our season over. Yes. So please, Carl Carl doing Armour Barrick, please slip you away for another briefcase. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Just one more. Just what the, the one last more one, brother? Just it's another the one. Last one, okay? <laughs> Maybe two just to sweeten it, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Get, get us get us Dortmund. Get us on that computer now and hack it. You know what I mean? Then we're good to go. Yeah. But yeah, I, I don't I don't think uh, I don't think getting Arsenal would be good for our season at all. Okay, and who do you want to face? Um it's actually wild because all the teams you listed off, all the favourites are going through. Every mm. single favourite is going through. I'd take Dortmund over two legs. I think we'd we'd beat Dortmund over two legs. Um We seem to rattle PSG a lot. I think PSG is not my favourite. And Dortmund is my favourite. He's not. They're not quite up there as the other ones. But if it, if we did draw PSG, I'd be very confident of going for it. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. But Dortmund is my one. I, I'd 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 love to get Dortmund. PSG do not have the mentality. They never have. The minute they go a goal behind, they start losing their heads. They start all like kicking out and that. Yeah. I think in, was it was it both legs a few years ago they got a red card in yeah, both sides. Yeah, just a gay. Just a gay, and then someone got one in the other one. And I can't. Remember. Anyway, the, the yellow cards for days, red cards, left, right and centre, they lose the red, they all throw the toys out the pram 
I just think PSG, I'd take that, but Dortmund is my favourite to go to. And also, Dortmund is an incredible away day. An incredible away day. Which we wouldn't go to. Which we wouldn't be able to go to. Well, we're good. We're good. We're good. Business account. Business account. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on Freddy. Yeah, Freddy, mate. You're, Freddy will come. <laughs> Freddy will come. We've all agreed. We've all agreed Freddy, that Freddy we, we need to do it. And we've said we need to get you on it. <laughs> so, yeah. so, whenever that away day is, it's going to be that. sweet. Right, um, I would, I'm just, I'm just thinking, Arsenal, yeah, I mean, as I've just gone on that whole rant, Arsenal would be my absolute nightmare draw, I'd rather just, literally any team, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, Mm -hmm. just not Arsenal, Um, I'd actually quite like to avoid Bayern Munich, just because I, st- I think that English quarterfinal curse might apply to English strikers. <laughs> I just, Har- Harry Kane's turn up and do bits. Yeah, I just yeah. have this fear of like, Harry Kane scoring a hat-trick against us for, for, for Bayern. Even though I think we're a much better team than Bayern, especially this season, like, two shows having a meltdown. I just don't know. I think- the thing for me, as much as they're not having a good season, they're still scoring goals. Harry Kane's still scoring better. And I have this vision of him running in behind, like, not obviously not with the pace, that, but just a big gap opening up and Harry Kane's there, you know he's going to bag. I just see it, I can I can envision it already, so I don't, that's why I'd hate to see Bayern. 